Howdy guys, it's Liv here from Neighbourhood and welcome to our August HubSpot update. We're back again with a load of exciting updates for you this month as HubSpot continues to revamp its platform to ensure that you can better market, sell and service your customers through 2021. This video will give you a head start on all of the latest HubSpot features and updates, allowing you to be ahead of the game in the months ahead. So let's kick things off by taking a look at the updates currently in public beta. First cap off the rank, the CMS Service Matching app. This is a new app where customers can hire a HubSpot partner for projects big or small. Think of it like Home Advisor, but for HubSpot projects and services within the CMS. Try it out for yourself today on HubSpotMatch.com. The second public beta update is the Ad Campaigns tool on the marketing calendar. This update allows you to view ad campaigns from Google, Facebook, and LinkedIn, alongside other marketing assets on the marketing calendar. So basically, the next time you visit the app, you'll see a welcome tooltip explaining how to manage your asset filters. By default, the calendar automatically shows all assets, meaning ads will also be included going forward. The third public beta update also involves the marketing calendar. You can now view the marketing calendar as a new tool inside the collaboration sidebar. If you have Marketing Hub Professional or Enterprise, be sure to check this update out. Fourth on the public beta list is the feature design for Salesforce to sync custom objects. The two new features allow you to import additional Salesforce objects into HubSpot custom objects and have historical data as well as sync cards on custom objects to better monitor Salesforce syncs activity and have more visibility into sync errors. Before this update, when when syncing additional standard and custom objects from Salesforce into HubSpot, you'd see newly created or updated records, but no historical data. Now, with the new feature for importing Salesforce standard and custom objects, you can pull historical data directly from the Salesforce import workflow into HubSpot custom objects, giving you full visibility into your object history. The next update currently in public beta is the support of international characters in custom domains. Characters in custom domains will now be supported by the domain manager. Previously, businesses looking to connect to domain with international characters in the domain manager were in an error state and couldn't use their domain of choice. Now with this new support, custom domains are no longer faced with this limitation. To connect domains with international characters, the process is exactly the same as the current domain connect flow. So that's all in public beta for the time being. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled as these get steadily rolled out to live over the coming months. Let's now take a look at all the changes to the CRM tool, starting with records. You can now further customize your CRM records with conditional sections. Conditional sections are used by enterprise admins to control which properties are displayed in a specific situation. For example, display properties on a contact record related to their purchase only when that contact is in their customer lifecycle stage. This functionality is really important for sophisticated admins who can have a lot of property data to display but want to make sure that it's relevant for their reps. To date, the only properties that you could use for defining a conditional section were contacts, companies, deals and tickets. While these were a great start, they limited admin creativity and relating property display to their business and processes. With this update, all drop-down and checkbox properties can be used to define a conditional section. Custom objects getting this functionality is important for all the same reasons as standard objects. Plus, it gets custom objects one step closer to full parity with standard objects. Nearly there. Let's now turn to all that's new in Sales Hub, looking first at workflows. Now available in the Sales and Service Enterprise portals are the workflows to enroll a contact into a sequence or unenroll a contact from an active sequence. When building a workflow, after setting criteria for triggering a workflow, you will now be able to select either of these functions. Needing to juggle so many different contacts in the sales process, it's easy for things to slip through the cracks for sales reps or follow-ups to be completely forgotten. With this update, sequences can now be built into the process so that contacts can receive a response from sales immediately after their form submission or any other inquiry. This can also be applied to trigger a sequence send in other areas of the sales process such as a deal stage update or a handoff to a new point of contact. Currently, sequences only automatically enroll from an email or a meeting booked, but with the new action to unenroll a contact from a sequence, teams can now set their own criteria for when a sequence should end. Also in Sales Hub, deal probability is now a property on deal cards and can be edited individually by users or in bulk by workflows. You can now view two new properties called deal property and weighted amount in the deals tool as a column and on the deal record property section. Deal probability is displayed as a percentage and weighted amount as a currency. 
The property can be edited individually on a deal or in bulk using a workflow. Just remember that clearing the property will reset the value to the default for the deal stage set in deal settings. By exposing this property, we can simplify how probabilities are used across deals, forecasting and reporting. Deal probability is a core piece of forecasting and reporting on your pipeline and it's been hidden for too long. As a result, users have had to create custom properties, reports have been incorrect and deal management has been harder for sales teams than it needs to be. This is core CRM functionality finally working how it should. Now for an update to the chatbot tool. You can now choose to display your custom chat avatar throughout your entire chat conversation. In order to provide fast responses, many busy customer service teams often have multiple reps replying to live chat at once. While rapid service produces a positive outcome in the majority of cases, customers can be confused about who's servicing them because the chat avatar can change depending on who is responding to that conversation. Now, reps can use their custom branding throughout the chat conversation so a chat avatar can represent Present your entire company or a particular department, no matter who is responding to the chat. And that's it for this month. I hope you enjoyed these updates and are as keen as we are to start implementing them today. But of course, if you need a hand ensuring you're making the most of your HubSpot investment, we're just a click away. If you need someone to tell you where your current usage in HubSpot is letting you down, what you could optimize and clean up, or what you're not using to its maximum potential, sign up for a portal audit today. We've pushed out a bunch of audits recently for companies in a variety of different industries, using HubSpot to varying levels. These are completely free, so there's no excuse not to. But for now, that's all from me. Happy HubSpotting.